So the first thing, which is quite interesting, is if you think about this time period, the 2,300 days, if it really means just normal days, it would be around six and a half modern years. But really, would God show something just so short in such an important prophecy? Mm, I, I don't think so. It doesn't really make a lot of sense. So how do we need to understand this verse? Or how do we have to understand prophecies and, and times or symbols in prophecy? And let us again take a look at your Bible. And, and I take my Bible too. Let us look in Second Peter chapter 1, verse 20. Knowing this first, that no prophecy of the scripture is of any private interpretation. What does the verse really mean? So to, to my understanding, it's saying that this, when God gives us a prophecy, he's not, uh, th there isn't many ways to interpret it. God has given us the, the word, his word, and he's given us his Holy Spirit to help us to understand his word. So God is going to give us the interpretation from the Bible itself. Yeah, like the Bible is its own interpreter. Yeah. Um, so also when we get to this 2,300 days, we cannot just, as I did first, say like this is just one day is like a literal day we actually have to study what the bible says about it otherwise it would be my own private interpretation and that's what we shouldn't do so yeah let's look at what the bible actually says about how to understand a day and prophecy and here are two verses which i want to share with you the first one is in ezekiel chapter 4 verse 6 where it says i've laid in on you a day for each year Quite interesting, like a day for each year God laid on Israel in a, in a prophecy. And there's another verse with the same pattern in Numbers chapter 14, verse 34. According to the number of the days in which you, spy out the land. Um, which you spied out the land, 40 days, for each day you shall bear your guilt one year, namely 40 years. Like probably many of you know the story that like God says for each day they spied out the land as a judgment, they had to stay in the wilderness for a year. So again, here you see the same pattern to, to bring it in like a nice formula. One day in a prophecy often means a year in normal life. So actually that gives us quite an important little um, piece of information to help us understand um, what we looked at in Daniel 8 verse 14 about the sanctuary being cleansed at the end of 2,300 days. So according to what we studied and, and making the Bible's own interpreter, this 2,300 days must be 2,300 years. This actually now is what we come to. What is the starting date of the period? And when you read the Daniel chapter 8, you'll find that there's no starting date given in the chapter. Small task. Read through chapter 8 and check whether what I'm saying is the truth. Look whether there's a starting date there or not. Um, and I just want to encourage you, before you read your Bible, always make sure that you pray and ask God to guide you in your study. Yeah. That's very important. Actually, if you would just continue reading, you would find out that chapter 9 has the answers. 